So this is, and of course, Batman. This is the 1989 suit replica. This is the uh, same suit that Michael Keaton wore. So we actually own the suit that Michael Keaton wore. Oh wow! Yeah, the owner owns that suit. Uh, of course, it's severely degraded, right? Yeah, the thing yeah, is yeah. falling apart. It's latex, right? It's all falling sure. apart. Sure. So we actually did a 3D scan of the head of the entire cowl. Mm. We reconstructed it because the whole face was collapsed, the ears are collapsed, yeah, and we yeah, rebuilt it. Yeah. And that was used to make this. Wow. On top of that, we actually had a chemist come in and create a new poly-based material for us that we could cast this, but make it soft, like oh, latex. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it kind of feels like a car tire. I yeah, think is yeah. Probably the best way to describe it. Because originally it would have been like foam latex. Um, exactly. And but, then you got but like, latex, of course, yeah. falls apart. So this is actually a poly-based uh, material that's soft, but it won't degrade, and the color is actually in it. Yeah. So there's no painting on it. And it actually comes out this way, which is kind of stressful. Because and, it is wear and is wearable. And, no, it's not. Okay. Well, because the original suit is cut in the back, right? Uh, okay, so if you're yeah, willing yeah. to cut your $800 piece up the back, you're more than welcome I've to wear actually, it. Um, I worked on Dark Knight for one day as basically a bitch. I was just carrying, yeah, just okay. carrying shit around. It's a gopher. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a runner or whatever you want to call it. But um, what happened, well, I even got a payslip for it. And um, basically, I, I saw the cow from Batman Begins in a trailer. Yep. And they were like, do you want to try it on? I'm like, fuck yeah. Pulled it on and it was it was really tight. But I got it on my head. <laughs> and then I, I, that was really, really tight. And then I put the forearm guards on. And Christian Bale's forearms were not, not compared to you, but compared to me, they're like fucking massive. Yeah. And I was really surprised about that, but yeah. But he, that got was pretty jack. he got jacked for the film too. He got pretty big. He got he got um, because he did the machinist beforehand. That's it. He then piled on the weight and he actually ripped the suit on the sides. Oh That's my what my gosh, guy yeah. on the set was telling oh, me. Oh, yeah. and the machinist. I mean, he looked he looked like he was sick. Like he looked. Well, yeah, I mean, he's six one or whatever, and then he was like eight and a half stone. Yeah, which, no, I know. Was, I think he went down yeah. to 165 in pounds, 165 pounds. I think less than that. Uh, oh my God. Yeah, imagine. eight and a half stone is probably, yeah. Uh, so that's so that's Batman. And unfortunately, this is our- We bored her, she's walked away. This, our prototype, unfortunately, he's been beaten up a little bit, but mm. normally what happens is this logo is magnetic. It sits oh, yeah. in the front like that. But it's just, this is our prototype that's been everywhere, so it's been sat and then, on the ground. And then the base of that as well is yeah, and then you uh, have, environmental. The base is actually the mayoral house oh, wow. from the movie. So that's the statue that sits in front of the uh, in front of the mayor's oh, house. Oh, now that's cool. Yeah. It's almost a shame that it's kind of hidden. You're kind of like, when you take it off, you're like, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and th there was an exclusive edition of this. It actually came with the replica of his battery. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I know that there's like a big, um, like the fans love the, the grappling hook. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, I know that's a big. All thing. of the exclusive editions of these of the Batman series come with really cool, mm. really cool gifts. Like sometimes, oh. sometimes it could be just like a print or something like that. Everything yeah. in the Batman series is really cool. And then of oh, course yeah. over here we got Catwoman. And that so yeah, so Batman Forever. We've got Catwoman here. So Catwoman is made out of the same material that we developed for the Batman. Yeah. The only difference is she's coated in a like a luster lacquer yeah. that gives it the shine. Now everyone's been doing this. So to our poor prototype, so it's been kind of abused. <laughs> and uh, so it includes the same base with the whip. So you get the whip. I'm just and asking for um, for my girlfriend. Yep. Um, can you of take course. the whip off and use it? <laughs> well, so the whip is actually formed to shape around it. Yeah, so yeah. if you took it off, it'd be kind of coiled like a spring. Okay. But I mean, if you threw, if you whipped it hard enough, it would work. <laughs> and if you remember the scenes where she takes the whip yeah. and she goes to the mall and she's whacking the uh, the heads off the mannequins. So in front of the mall, there's these giant cat head yeah. clocks. So this comes with a little replica of the clock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's cool. cool. And this is the same base as the... Uh, same base. Yeah, so the yeah. Batman series, all the same base. Exactly. It's very right. cool. And it, it, true to the actual prop, the string is not actual string. It's molded mm. into the mask. And uh, the actual prop was like that as well. Yeah. Only the suit was actually sewn because oh, they had wow. to sew her into the suit. Yeah. My whole childhood was destroyed, though, when they did... Um, she was on a talk show, and uh, she said that they padded her, uh, put her ass out, and they destroyed my whole childhood. Do you think? It did destroy. I refused. No, to... no, no, she said it in an interview. No, she didn't. And it destroyed. Did it just like destroyed she did many, not. many <laughs> alone moments of my own. I love Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> yeah. uh, and you know what's interesting? Uh, so the owner of the company is a huge, huge Batman fan. Obviously, he owns the actual yeah. Batman suit. 
And what's interesting is we have a shared connection for that. So he immediately after seeing Batman was inspired to start drawing superheroes and things like that. Oh, wow. And basically put him into that path. And for me, the very first piece of movie memorabilia I ever bought was a Joker shirt after going to watch the original oh, wow. movie in 1989. That's, that's, that's so awesome. that's kind of weird. Wow. Yeah, I did really well. And then we got the uh, Danny DeVito yeah, penguin. we got Danny DeVito penguin. Uh, now, this is a very special piece because it's our first ever silicone piece. Oh, really? So this is silicone oh, wow, skin. That's, that's actually metal. Yeah, this is a COA is actually metal. Yep, you got it. That's, that's All of our premium products come with a metal COA. Yeah. So that's the Batman one. For um, Lady D, for Lady D over there, it's actually a, a rose gold. And yeah. for Michael Jackson, there's silver and gold, depending on which one you get. So first ever silicone piece, first ever piece that we do with yeah, individually yeah, punched hair. Well. And that is the exclusive gift. Yeah, that is you really get the cool duck as well. Again, I, I'm surprised someone hasn't walked away with that yet. I keep calling it the duck boat, but it should be the duck vehicle because technically yeah. it's got wheels. It's got wheels, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, So he includes the monocle, which is actually magnetic. Mm. It just clicks into place. And he does have a full head, so when you take the velvet cap, he has a full head, it ends at the back. Yeah. But you can't see it because he has the hair all the way back. Every all the hair is individually punched. The jawline, the teeth, everything moves like a mouth. Like a, when you take the cigarette in and out, yeah. Touch uh, the ears, the ears yeah. are floppy like an ear. Yeah, it's creepy. Oh, it's horrible. It's <laughs> horrible. It feels like an ear. It feels like a dead ear. I have a, a great story with this. We had a gentleman contact us for a few days asking a whole bunch of questions. Yeah. Finally, he ends up buying it. The next day, we come in. We've got an email from him. Uh, sorry, guys. I need to cancel order and get a refund. Well, yeah, what happened? He said, my girlfriend saw it. She refuses <laughs> to let it in the house. <laughs> I had... Um, uh, oh, It was actually my friend who worked in the, in the film. He bought... Uh, a life-size greeter from uh, Gremlins okay, yep. 2 <laughs> and uh, if you don't know greeter's the one who's the female lipstick whatever else yep. and um, basically I had it in my collection room in the corner my ex wouldn't come in the room until I got rid of it yeah <laughs> that's amazing but this this is this is really cool I mean yeah this is we gave this one a real premium um, treatment for this guy mm. yeah and it comes in like a really special box so it's like also, a, I mean, you know, like a shoe box at the bottom of the yeah. top, and it's like premium black foam and all that good stuff. With the price point as well, I mean, like a lot of the kind of silicon stuff on on the market now are like absolutely insane prices. Right, Three thousand, and yeah. that is pretty reasonable. I didn't expose like looking for the price. I'm going to go. Yeah. Okay, what's second? Oh, okay. okay well, okay. and so that's why these are called art masks, so they're not busts. Yeah. So the actual back is hollow. Oh, so okay. all of our art masks are like that. They tend not to have a full back. Yeah. And that allows us to ch charge way cheaper prices. Like yeah, yeah. we've got term those Terminators are like five hundred dollars. So they're not that expensive. That's so, really good. That's really, now, really good. Now people that don't know any better will come and say, "Whoa, that's crazy expensive." Yeah. It's because yeah. they've never seen what a full it's, bust it's like that costs. It's the same. It's the same with statues. I mean, like, yeah, again, yeah. going to conventions and sort of putting the statues up, and people go, "What? Thousand dollars? Fuck that!" And you're like, "Well, actually, our competitors will charge." Da da da. And you're like, "Yeah. How, well, who buys that?" Everyone, loads of people. Uh, uh, well, what I do is I tell them, I go, that one right there sold out in, in 12 hours. Yeah. And uh, or you get the the other one that we get to is um, I can make I can print this at home yeah. for 100. dollars I said, do it for me. I'll buy them from you. Someone <laughs> someone posted that on um, it was a PVC thing, and they go, I can get this produced in China for two dollars each. I said, give me your contacts, and we'll pay you a lot of money for it. Yeah, you know, exactly. And then, then all of a sudden they're real quiet. Yeah. Aren't yeah. They? yeah.